Oh, what's up? Today's video is on the Washington Post begging black activists to compromise. Matter of fact, y'all already know how goddamn propaganda go, so they telling you that you gonna compromise. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And first of all, we gonna start off with who's telling us the goddamn story. Jose Del Rio. Kayla Rubble and Vicky Elmer. Let's take a look at their face for a second. You are witnessing the Rubble Network. At the top, we have Jose Del Rio. He a national correspondent based in Los Angeles. His work often explores how politics and public policy affect marginalized communities. I'm guessing as black people from the opioid epidemic, that's white people to environmental damage. That's white people. So I'm guessing the marginalized communities he talking about is white people in a trailer park and white people who live in the forest and all of that bullshit, who hippies and all of that whack shit and understand some of y'all seem to think because i speak a certain type of way and i don't pronunciate every little verb and shit that that mean that i'm ignorant if you dumb enough to use the english language as a fucking grading tool of my intelligence then you stupid as fucking you shouldn't even be on this page in the middle we got kayla rubble detroit new york multimedia journalist and at the bottom we got vicky elmer goddamn it now let's go all the way back to the uh title so we could really break this shit down and i could prepare y'all for the bullshit you about to see title reads again for black activists Biden's selection of harris's running mate brings pride but also compromise god damn it so think about this why the fuck does that shit bring pride to black activists when even in this fucking article that i'm about to read to y'all says that the woman is of jamaican and indian descent god damn it but pay attention to this it also brings compromise which means they trying to tell you the activists they spoke to speak for all activists god damn it what they call that the one big nigga theory god damn it whatever one nigga say that mean all of us go by and be clear they at the top right there and say black activists they ain't say black activists of detroit where this fucking story take place right they didn't do that they want to say like all of us god damn it and i'll be clear to point that out throughout this whole article but no matter what we read from whatever supposed uh supposed uh activist god damn it or community leader they gonna sit up there and say the same thing i'm still gonna vote though fuck out of here let's get to it you are witnessing a rebel network our first character at the beginning of the article is Kenya Fentress right there. Let's read. Several times a week for more than two months, Kenya Fentress and other black activists have gathered in southwest Detroit to march against police brutality and structural racism. For Fentress, the grassroots fight for racial justice taking place city by city across America feels personal and urgent and immediate. The news this week that Kamala Harris has been selected as Joe Biden running mate on a democratic presidential ticket though registered as little more than a blip now when i looked up kenya fentress who i have highlighted right there because we ain't gonna read this whole article we gonna skim through and read if need be that's kenya fentress to the right when i try to look her up the only other thing i could find is that little kid right there that was probably her at a younger age it was started in 2013 she was dancing to that greens beans potatoes tomatoes bullshit like that god damn it so i didn't find much on her but supposedly she an activist and what else they want y'all to know she just like the grassroots fights for racial justice taking place city by city across america which i have highlighted in the mirror in the middle goddamn y'all know what i mean but anyway they let you know that oh they weren't even worried about kamala harris because they was out here marching let's continue now before we even break this bullshit down i want y'all to know that when i be saying this shit yeah i'll be passionate goddamn it yeah i'm angry because i'm tired of the bullshit that's going on on this motherfucking planet bruh and people we too goddamn old to be thinking a democrat or republican is gonna save us around this bitch goddamn and i refuse to not have my fucking 
my my audio imprint or visual imprint somewhere in the world after I'm gone saying I did not approve of the dumb shit that's going on on this planet around this bitch. Uh, the Democrats is about to sit up here and beg the sleeves off of people throughout this fucking article, no matter who you might be, because they know that their time is up and they'll paint somebody that you can possibly relate to. They need you to follow somebody desperately, goddamn it. Like they said, uh, D. L. Hughley them not doing a job no more. So they want you to follow somebody, even if it's this girl Kenya Fentress round this bitch, cause she's a black activist round this motherfucker. Let's read this. Harris, a California senator of Jamaican and Indian descent, made history as the first woman of color to be chosen as vice presidential nominee by a major party. African-American advocacy groups cheered Biden's pick, which they saw as a recognition that black voters are a pillar of the Democratic Party. But the choice was greeted more skeptically by the party's left flank, including many young black activists who had been critical of Harris's record as a mainstream politician and former prosecutor let's block talk break that shit down briefly because y'all can already see that jamaican and indian shit i got it highlighted and woman of color which i still don't know what the fuck that is what is a woman of color i've heard of a black woman i've heard of a white woman god damn it i've heard of an asian woman but what the fuck is a woman of color is that an asian woman and a black woman and a latino woman get the fuck out of here there's no such thing if you ask a woman what she is is she gonna give you a specific nationality goddamn she gonna tell you she black or she white or she gonna relate herself to some type of nation like i'm portuguese i'm asian i'm fucking south pacific or whatever the f or jamaican goddamn it they're gonna give any other name so what the fuck is a woman of color none of them ain't gonna say a woman of color unless they running for office somewhere and what's the next thing i have highlighted y'all african-american advocacy groups cheered biden's pick that let you know african-american advocacy groups ain't nothing but groups of fucking coons out here who cheering anything the democrats say on god damn it but pay attention to these next two boxes many younger black activists y'all see that they want you to relate to either if you're young and you against this bullshit or you a black activist and you older and against this shit or if you're younger and a black activist you should be relating to Kenya Fentress around this bitch, you heard me? Because you you a little bit skeptical around here, you dig? But some people, you dig, like the African-American advocacy group, they down with it. Anything will do. Kamala Harris, get the hell out of here. Let's continue. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Now, let me show y'all where following Kenya Fentress lame ass gonna get you. Look at the top of this article. And yet, despite her skepticism toward the Democratic Party, she intends to cast a ballot for Biden and Harris in November, not because of Harris, but because of her disdain for Trump. God damn it. Her disdain for Trump. Y'all heard that? So that go to the people who say, oh, I'm they can't listen to me because I'm loud or I talk like this and I use these words. But yet you can go out there and vi vote for Biden and Harris. God damn it. Just because you hate Trump. Let me tell you about Trump. He ain't no different than any other motherfucking president just like obama he sat on his watch as as brother after brother and mother died around this bitch and ain't do a damn thing but say uh trayvon could have looked it like my son that would have been my son well would your son murderer has have walked god damn it would you have let your son murderer walk y'all understand what i'm saying y'all think obama would have let that shit happen but knowing him he would have let it happen he would have said well the law is the law just like he told us hey that's at a state level and all of that bullshit i remember what he said but y'all can't listen to me because i'm saying this and i'm saying that like this man get the fuck out of here if you don't hear me you don't need to hear me now let's continue to the other part i have highlighted god damn it it said we're uh huh are we going to vote yes who the fuck is we Look, she said, are we going to vote? Yes, it's an obligation. Who the fuck told you that was an obligation? I am not obligated to vote. Matter of fact, they whack-ass constitution say I could do what the fuck I want. I'm obligated to do what the fuck I want. Talking about we gonna vote. Who else votes she got control of? You better speak for yourself because you, the one big nigga theory does not work here, God damn it. The one big nigga theory does not work here. Just because Kenya Fentress lame-ass 
that's going to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris does not mean we are going to vote around this motherfucker. Let's continue. Now, I'm pretty sure some of y'all guessed it already. Here come poor child preacher around this bitch, James Carrington, or whatever the fuck his name is, who is a pastor at the city's Mayflower Congressional United Church of Christ, goddammit. That boy look like he don't even like black people, let alone speak for any black person, goddammit. He look like he judging a nigga right now. Look at him. Look like he judging me. He look like he telling a nigga life or 10 years of life, 10 years of life, five years goddamn it slamming gavels not giving no second chances around this bitch look at his face goddamn look at him it's your lame ass out of here now let's continue to the bullshit that's gonna come out of his mouth around this bitch now look at this fool y'all look at him he said the blame got to go all the way around ain't no blame people did not like hillary clinton he talking about you know what happened with hillary clinton and shit look at what what i have highlighted y'all clinton did not show up here that tell you everything you need to know but look what he in the top part of the article saying y'all other pastors we could have got out 15,000 votes god damn it we could have did it he blaming himself for that racist dirty ass woman not winning the presidency god damn it y'all see that but he a god dog people like him a fucking god dog i wonder if he know what he doing if he really that blinded god damn it how can you go through your entire life still believing in this system is fucking beyond me and then they start talking some bullshit about what the church doing. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Let's continue, y'all. My logic is irrefutable. Pastor James goes on to fucking say that Detroit young voters and shit feel alienated and they skeptical of the Democratic Party because of their failed promises in Detroit. Oh, they finally specified Detroit around this bitch. They got failed promises all across America, goddammit. He said they disillusionment. He worries is self-defeating. He believes that p political strength rests in voting. You know why he believes? that because he old as hell and he actually benefit from this system god damn it like i told y'all right now he telling somebody life life he benefit from this bullshit talking about political strength so we can have a group of obamas god damn it in office that's what i tell y'all talk about well i'm gonna vote locally and all of that bullshit i can see if you voting on referendums and all type of little, uh policies and enactments and shit like that but if you talking about voting for people all you doing is running for you voting for star surge god damn it the next obama god damn it the next uh kamala harris the next stacy abrams and all of these puppet ass idiots that some of y'all seem to still believe in some of y'all that's the that's the crazy part of this whole thing people actually still believe in the democrat and the republican and these people been scamming y'all for all this time on this damn planet like you still believe them you still fucking believe them? But let's continue, y'all. The pro What's the second one I have highlighted? It said, but there's also plenty of political skepticism and cynicism that the leaders like Keratin will have to battle. See, they letting you know that they sending Keratin or Pastor James, as we going to call him, they sending him out there to battle people who skeptical of the Democratic Party, God damn it, talking about cynicism like we only thinking about ourselves here. Yeah, we is, God damn it, you right. We only thinking about ourselves this time. We want to know what the fuck y'all going to do for us, and since you don't have a plan because we still ain't saw them say oh we're gonna do this or we're gonna they ain't even run with their uh regular bullshit like we're gonna get us to the hbcus and prison reform and education and all of that bullshit they ain't even say that in this article that's because they letting you know that they ain't giving you shit they just want you to vote because you supposedly don't like trump i wonder who keep telling these people that we so mad at trump i don't give a fuck about trump just like i don't give a fuck about obama with y'all silly ass let's get to the next slide now look at this bullshit y'all to really expose these people look what it say they was passing out during they fucking march y'all they was passing out buttons that read black women's lives matter 
Do y'all know how divisive that shit is? If you put black lives matter, don't by default that mean women's lives matter? But no, y'all got to be divisive, huh? Y'all got to put black women's trying to divide our black women from the black man around this bitch, huh? Oh, us, goddammit. Oh, black women, we with y'all and all of that. You see what the fuck I'm saying, people? Don't fall for the gender bullshit. A lot of y'all be falling for that old bullshit, that old gender bullshit. You better be black first because when they come to take your ass out, goddamn it, you black. They don't care if you a woman or a man or LGBT or none of that bullshit, goddamn it. You're black with your lame ass. Let's get to the next slide. You are witnessing a rebel network. Here you go, the, the third person they spoke to because we already got the rebel, supposedly, Kenya Fentress, and we already got pork chop preacher, goddamn it. So right now we on Seder, goddamn it. Uh, youngster, I think they said he was 28. My bad for uh forgetting, goddamn it. He expressed skepticism over Biden's efforts to reach black voters, including adding Harris to the goddamn ticket. And the first box he said they did that so they could get the black vote. He said, explaining his concerns over Harris' record as a fucking prosecutor. I have been to prison, and the prison system makes the person worse. It don't rehabilitate. Now pay attention before you sit up there and be like, yeah, I'm with him and all of that. Only thing they trying to do is make way for a prison reform type of bullshit, first of all, because they doing two things. Oh, throw that prison reform shit on them, you dig? If they looking for policies on that so it make it easier for them. And on top of that, they want you to relate to him. Oh, he been to prisons, you dig? He, he just like one of us, you know? He said he don't even rehabilit rehabilitate. You know, that's the truth right there. They want you to be with him. But in the very next line is where you better jump off the goddamn bus if you a part of this block talk news movement god damn it look what he said in the very next line y'all yeah i'm going to vote but i feel that the democrats and republican are basically the same thing well why the fuck are you going to vote if basically they the same thing you fucking idiot you see how much sense it make you see y'all they trying so hard to get you to relate to people but they exposing their hand they just really desperate and pathetic like this shit is blatant for me you know what i'm saying let's pay attention to the last box y'all say this suggested that keeping trump in office might benefit the movement because at least the president's rhetoric draws attention to systemic problems that has existed for a long fucking time which means a long time before trump got there while y'all think we just so infuriated with Trump. Oh, we so mad. We just go vote blindly. Man, fuck a policy. Fuck anything that they that we want or need around this motherfucker. We don't care about our lives or nothing. We just gonna vote because we mad at Trump, supposedly. Man, get y'all silly ass out of here. Let's continue. More irrefutable logic. Pay attention to this. Harris declined to support a bill that would have required her office to investigate fatal police shootings, commenting that it would take power away from local district attorneys who had systems in place for police officers to be held accountable. Y'all heard that bullshit? She didn't want to take the power away from local district attorneys who had systems in place to hold police accountable. You know them systems that let the police walk free? You know them systems that give them a paid vacation, you did? You know that kind of system. She ain't want to fuck up all of that, you did? I understand. You ain't want to mess that up, you did? You ain't want the, the fucking case to be set directly in front of your face, Kamala Harris. You didn't want to be the head of the investigation to say, you know what? that was an unjust shooting and put that cop under the jail you didn't want to do that because you know what you ain't want to hurt the DEA feelings I mean the DEA feelings and shit you ain't want to mess up what they got in place by letting people go free and shit you did letting murderers roam the street free you ain't want to mess that up huh and look at the bottom y'all she opposed the statewide standard for police officers to wear body cameras again citing the local authority oh she don't want to mess up the locals, you dig? The locals. The fucking locals. You know what the locals is when you riding through one of them hick towns and they got no niggers. Go back the other way. She ain't want to trample on old Jim Bob and them rights and shit, you dig? We're not wearing no goddamn cameras to patrol these niggers, you understand? She ain't want to trample on that. You know, them local authorities and shit. Even though she's supposedly the attorney general who could flex her muscle and supposedly 
for black people, goddamn it. Get the hell out of here with this bullshit. Let's continue, y'all. You are witnessing the Rebel Network, and if you've been around for a minute, you understand that I've done a few videos on how Kamala Harris be up there uh, locking up homeless mothers and shit behind truancy laws that she put in place. And matter of fact, y'all pay attention to like uh, the fifth line where it say that they warned that this would disproportionately hurt low-income communities of color. She has since expressed regret over how the laws have been applied. They applied the law just how you fucking wrote it, Kamala Harris, and they warned you beforehand, but did you give a fuck? Hell nah, because you wasn't running for president then. You was running for attorney general, and you know how you want it to be. You want it to be known as a tough cop, hard on niggas, tough on crime. Yeah, I'm from that generation where they used to be trying to be Tough on crime. Oh, you said lock the nigger up for five? I say lock the nigger up for ten. God damn it. Matter of fact, uh, we're going to lock him up for five years per crack rock. God damn it. I'm from Nim time, so I know how they operate around this bitch. But pay attention to the next fucking block as we skim through that bullshit. Because y'all know Kamala Harris don't give a fuck about black mothers or no bullshit like that. We get to Samaya Haynes, who is 20 years old, who says she's not too much into politics. Now, y'all, if she's not too much into politics, why the fuck is they citing Samaya Haynes, 20 years old? <laughs> Why the fuck is they citing Samaya Haynes 20 fucking years old, y'all? Why? If she's not too much into politics. When they caught up with her, she was planning for a six, uh, her sister's sixth birthday party around this bitch. She says she ain't been paying attention. She only heard a little bit about Harris. But having a black woman on a ticket definitely makes it more interesting for her. What's so interesting about it? Because she not fucking black, goddammit. Why didn't the interviewer stop and say, oh, she's not black. She's Jamaican and uh, Indian, goddammit. And she was raised by her indian mother so which values you think is installed in her god damn it and when she introduced herself she says she indian sometime god damn it it depends on where they at like if obama in the church he gonna start talking like he Martin luther king now tell me i'm lying god damn it let's continue speaking of that clown obama look who she citing uh samaya fucking uh haynes 20 years old look who she citing barack obama said it was a good decision and i trust obama See, she trusts Obama even after his presidency. Yeah, she really don't pay attention to politics, so I don't give a fuck about nothing she have to say beyond this point. Now we're going to get to Lindsey Gray. Oh, she's the educated one, the educated woman, supposedly, goddammit. She said she was thrilled to hear that Harris had been chosen as Biden's running mate, especially as a Howard University graduate. So you already biased, goddammit. Not only is you going to vote for her because she went the Howard, but she black on top of that oh you thrilled huh but i ain't heard shit about a policy yet god damn it no type of policy yet just vote for him because you don't like trump let's continue to expose this bullshit you are witnessing the rebel network as this whack ass article come to a close they gonna go back to their favorite character who you think that is if you guessed Pastor James, then you was right, because he goes on to say the most appalling shit ever, talking about appointing Kamala Harris does one thing. It says that, OK, we were right. Uncle Joe will respond to us, will try to do something for us. He takes us seriously and he did it not in words like, what do you have to lose? He's taking action. Now, let's break that shit down, y'all. This dude said he going to try to do something which means he ain't gonna do a motherfucking thing we've heard that before we're not playing with these people no more he takes us serious oh like we babies huh? we ain't even to be taken serious oh he take us serious he really look man get your silly ass out of here god damn it put a picture of joe biden up matter of fact you are witnessing the rebel network as we wrap this whole video up is this the man y'all you really think that this man right here 94 crime bill joe siding with segregationist joe biden against busing joe biden i know what's best for the negro joe biden is actually gonna do something for you god damn it do you actually think kamala harris matter of fact put her face up do you actually think that she gonna save you.
She going to change things for you. This woman locked up homeless fucking mothers. This woman made sure that police didn't have to wear a fucking camera, goddammit. This woman made sure that the evidence for that could have freed a man stayed locked up until the courts demanded her ass to release the evidence, goddammit. You really think she going to help you? Get the fuck out of here, man. Once again, y'all holler at me.